Hello guys, Northern Lights here. So, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and just dive right in. Um, the energy that we're kind of swimming in right now, uh, when it feels like we have conflicting kind of energies and it's within ourselves okay so we're feeling ambitious and wanting to get things done and making plans right and then there's another part of us that where some you know our our fears kind of creep in there right our doubts and we start to question ourselves about whether we're doing the right thing making the right move and and so i think i feel like some of us, maybe all of us, maybe most of us, whatever. Okay, take it if it resonates. I feel like we're in a the energy that we're in with what the planets are doing up there. I feel like there's some conflicting energies. We have um, a lot of Jupiter and Venus energy going on, Pisces. Okay, and then um, or well. Pisces moon, okay, where the sun just went into Pisces, and um, and then we have Pluto and Chiron up there, kind of muckying things up, so I feel like we have, we have all these plans, and we have our intentions, and we're trying to manifest, and right, we're seeing the signs, and we're heading on the right track, and then, and then there's some, there's the, there's this, niggling feeling that just kind of creeps in there right and I feel like it's like a sun and moon kind of thing with the sun being our our conscious mind and then our moon being our unconscious mind I feel like it's like night and day like the polarities there's a lot of um I feel like it's just two totally complete different energies let me turn my my light on here so you guys can see the cards there we go I just feel like at this point in time with everything that's going on up with our solar system that it's you know we're, we're, I feel like we feel a little conflicted about some things it's the kind of the general collective energy that I'm picking up on so I decided I want to go ahead and pull on this I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this salt and sea energy deck that jen sent to me thank you again for this deck i'm absolutely loving this deck Ooh, right off the right off the bottom of the deck out the box is the lighthouse the light worker card the beacon when the seas are rough search for the light i love that okay excellent and that's kind of what i feel like it kind of feels like thing you know it, I feel like it's a little bit chaotic inside we we know what we want but we feel maybe we feel like things may be kind of stacked up against you or how am I going to make this happen kind of energy okay all right that makes sense puffer puffer fish know your limits and your boundaries okay we got driftwood here too Go with the flow. Trust where the universe is taking you. Let's see. What can you tell us? What can you tell the collective about this sun-moon conflicting kind of energy? So what I mean by the conscious mind is, you you know, that's you setting your intentions, making your plans. You, you're you're uh, motivated, right? And then you got this darker moon energy, your subconscious, that's that, it's that niggling feeling that, that feeling like something's trying to nudge you, letting fears and, and the what ifs, the, it just kind of creep in and I feel like we're trying to, I feel like the important part here is to find the balance because this is also about the things that you dream about, right? The things that you daydream about and then you have the motivation and the determination to bring those into fruition. 
Okay. When seas get rough, search for the light. Stingray, be aware of your surroundings and mindfulness. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of who's around you. Yep, there's the puffer fish again. Know your limits and your boundaries. Okay. I heard, be conscientious. Sandcastle, everything is temporary. Divine timing. Okay, this card came out yesterday. And there's the compass. You're being guided. Messages from beyond. Communication. Okay. I feel like you're being guided. You're Okay, your guides are pushing you in the right direction. The messages that you're getting are from your from your guides from your angels and i feel like you can trust that and i feel like this is divine timing right here all in divine timing trust it trust in divine timing everything will happen as it's supposed to when it's supposed to i'm gonna go ahead and put the lighthouse right there in the corner okay Got pirate ship right here. Set sail on a new adventure. Explore beyond the horizon. Okay. So this is could be a new endeavor that you're trying to bring into fruition that you're trying to do. You could be planning something and it's completely new. Okay. Okay. Got two. Portuguese man of war. We've got, it says collaboration and teamwork. Okay. I kind of see Portuguese man of war as, I mean, I guess they kind of do hang out together. Sea glass. Your future is being rewritten in metamorphosis going through a change your future is being rewritten and I feel like that this new endeavor that you're going on and you're being guided by the divine with this conch shell here you're listening and you're waiting for divine timing to just kind of you know see things through you're doing your part you're, you're being divinely led on this new adventure set sail okay sail on Set sail on a new adventure. Explore beyond the horizon. Okay, so exploring beyond what you can see. If this is a map, okay, this is a big change for you. It's something completely new. You may have to collaborate with other people in order to bring it to fruition. Okay. See if anything else wants to come out of this deck. I'm going to put the sun and the moon over here. What else, collective? Uh, what else, spirit, for the collective? Whale, your voice matters. Speak your truth. Okay, I feel like this is, you know, you expressing yourself, putting your intentions out there, setting your intentions. Let's get one more. One more, Spirit, one more. Pearl, uncovering lost wisdom, hidden knowledge. Feel like you're learning about yourself, learning something new. You're you're on a new adventure. You're exploring new depths of yourself. You're ooh, finding your voice, okay? Standing up for yourself, speaking up for yourself. Letting yourself be heard. You're not staying quiet no more. I also had the flamingo flip over. Fine balance. I said that 
okay, with this sun and moon energy. I feel like the important part is, is to find the balance. Okay, practice moderation. Flamingos always give me bold energy, okay, about being bold, finding your voice with the whale, letting other people hear your song, uncovering lost wisdom and hidden knowledge. I feel like you are listening to the divine, okay, you're learning something new every day. Feel like you're getting signs and synchronicities from your ancestors, your guides, your angels. And they're they're helping to guide you on a whole new adventure. A transformative period. I feel like the um, collaboration could be with your guides. Your spirit team. Okay. Find the balance. Practice moderation. I'm getting a between worlds here energy with that flamingo as well. Yeah, I got submarine at the bottom of the deck. Diving deep, unraveling the unconscious. Okay, I was talking about the, uh, the conscious and the unconscious mind right here with this moon. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Got sea turtle. Slow down. Be patient and persistent, okay? That's this right here, being determined, being persistent. But it, I feel like it, that's finding that balance, okay? Between the, between the sun and the moon. Between, it could be between your sun sign and your moon sign. It could be between your masculine and your feminine energies, okay? Whatever it is that's getting you hung up. I feel like it's all it's important to find the balance so that you can bring your manifestations to life. Slow down. I'm also getting protection energy here from the sea turtle. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. I am just loving this deck. Let's see. What else are we getting, Spirit? <laughs> I just this is just kind of a, a random kind of reading, I guess, spur of the moment. I wanna, you know what? I'm being called to pull out the sea turtle from this deck right here. I know there's a sea turtle in here. There it is. Nope, that's the whale. That's the orca. There's the humpback whale. <laughs> Singer, find your voice. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. I feel like this is the one. With this whale and this compass right here. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Humpback whale. Okay, that could be our message. That could be why. And look, this one right here is about an adventure. Going on a new adventure. Setting sail. Let's see what the sea turtle has to say. Yeah, protection. You are a master of finding life's flow. I thought I saw a go with the flow energy. Be patient, slow down. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. Okay, I feel like those are the ones that the divine wanted me to get out. Adventure. 
the whale singer finding your finding your voice your voice matters speak your truth humpback whale sing healing songs for the world your inner navigation always guides you okay that's your divine guidance right there your inner compass listen to it it's it's communication from your guides we've got in divine timing right here everything is temporary nothing is permanent nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal and that's what i've been feeling like i feel like you okay you got you've set you you've set your mind on something you're trying to bring something to life into fruition you're giving birth to something new and whatever it is, it's a big change for you. Okay. And it's we got to find the balance. Right here. Be bold. Yet. And making moves. Yet. Methodically. Slowly. Make sure that you're dotting all your i's and crossing your t's right pay attention to the details i just heard we got you know that looks like okay when we stack things that's a balancing act as well finding balance finding your center okay and then with the orca do dare to do things differently being bold Sing your wild song. Okay, again. I just said sing your song. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Manifest your travel dreams. Okay, some, yes. Some of you could be planning a trip. I know I am. And actually, I'm really excited. I literally just booked. I found a gorgeous resort in Kauai and I just booked it. I just reserved it. And I, oh my God, you guys, it's beautiful. Manifest your travel dreams. With this ship right here, you could be going on a new adventure. Your future is being rewritten. Fall, listen to your guides. I feel like this collaboration, it could be getting together with other people um, to collaborate, to help get um, opinions or advices about which direction or advices on which way to go i feel like it's your guides though i do i really do attempt the great journey with confidence okay boom there's that confidence that drive that determination that persistence with the sun and the moon with the sun energy be loyal friends and family are your treasures be brave you are more powerful than you know, okay? And this right here with this oyster and this pearl, okay, my new subs don't know my pearl story. When we do those deep dives and we go deep inside ourselves, we harvest our oysters. Our oysters are our wounds, okay? And we have to pry open those wounds in order to find the pearl, the gem that we can bring up to the surface, clean it up, and then wear it on a necklace or in a, in a ring or in an earring to display to the world that we've done the healing work. You gotta, first you have to find them. You gotta do those deep dives in yourself, into yourself, find your oysters, find your wounds. And then you gotta pry that wound open. Okay, that's the healing work. Okay, find that pearl bring it back up to the surface clean it up polish it make it pretty then you can display it that's your healing work that you do okay spirit wanted me to bring up the pearl that's why i have this oyster with the pearl light here i need a new battery for it um but okay I've been talking about the oysters and the pearls for pretty much since I started this channel. 
But what I'm getting here is that's okay. Friends and family are your treasures. The pearl is a treasure. You could be collaborating, working together with your family and friends. If you're taking a family vacation, you could be collaborating with your family to make plans. Being brave, okay, being bold to bring it into fruition. Finding balance. You're more powerful than you know. And the reason why is because you have divine guidance showing you the way. When, when the seas get rough, search for the light. And I feel like, okay, I feel like you are a light worker. And I, I, I download, I, I channeled a message today while I was in Cindy's live today. And yes, we're light workers. But I feel like I'm a light warrior. Okay. I'm a warrior through and through. I fight. I will put up a fight. I will do these deep dives and I will do that healing work. And I will, okay, I'm, I, I have found my voice and I'm not going to be quiet no more. And I'm not going to shut up and just sit back and take it if someone decides they want to be nasty to me. Uh-uh. No, not going to happen. And so I am a light warrior and I feel like you are too. We are light warriors. With all this spiritual warfare that we got going on out there, we have to battle it. We got to fight it. We got to be the light. Light warriors. Yes. We're powerful. Okay, we're more powerful than we know. Getting into a rhythm, okay, finding that balance between our sun and our moon. Sometimes our sun sign and our moon sign can be conflicting. Sometimes our conscious and our subconscious can be conflicting. Sometimes it's hard to find that balance between our masculine and our feminine energies. It just depends on what it is that you're struggling with. And it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. You could be struggling with your light and your dark, your light and your shadow sides. Be the beacon. Okay, search. When, when it gets rough, search for the light. Okay. Beautiful messages. Beautiful. Let's see. What are we getting? <laughs> what are we getting? I'm going to go ahead and get out my Gilded Tarot. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. No, I am not. Get back in there. I haven't used my animal deck in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and get it out. Okay. Let's use the animal deck. Messages for my collect. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. That there's that money tree. Got some got some pentacles hanging from it. Looks like you see them. And it looks like you got 
a brawl going on in the background there. But you're not paying no attention, okay? You're not paying attention to drama, chaos, fuss, chaos, fussing, and fighting. Uh-uh. Okay, you're, you're focused on your pentacles. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're blocking out the stank. <laughs> Got the Three of Pentacles underneath that, okay? You you're laying down new groundwork here and this is this is like an archway like you're going through a doorway and with the giraffe here okay giraffes have long necks they can see they have a higher perspective Queen of Pentacles okay you're focused on your pentacles and I feel like when your pentacles are good and your pentacles are right, you're happier than a pig in mud. And then you've got the grasshopper. It's the fool. Okay. I feel like you are. You're you're leaping towards a new adventure. Brand new adventure here. Taking the leap. And I feel like you're being guided to. Okay. This is gorgeous. Three of Wands. Yeah. Planning for your future. Okay. Sail on. Set sail. I feel like, okay, this is, you know, the general meaning of this card is your ships are coming in. And I do. I feel like, okay, there's a woodpecker right there. I feel like you've got your K, okay, you you're paying attention to your Ace of Wands. And there is. There's some there's some boats down here. Feel like your ships are coming in. You're paying attention to you're investing in the right things. You're paying attention to the right thing. Got a lot of pinnacles out here. Could be working on getting your money right. I feel like you're setting your sights higher. Okay, you want you want more. And if you are planning a vacation, I feel like you're blocking out any of the stank, anything that's going to come along and create any kind of ruckus. You could have energies around you that are creating a stink with this skunk right here. Their garden be dead. And I feel like they could be creating a stink in the background here. We did see that. Be aware of your surroundings. Okay. And that puffer fish with knowing your boundaries. But your ships are coming in. Yeah, I got the five of swords came out in the reverse. Yeah, you're not. Okay. I feel like. This is someone that's extremely jealous, envious, petty. Okay, someone's create someone in your energy is creating some kind. Try, gonna try and create a, some kind of stink for you. Got the death card. Something that you put an end to. And look, that's a vulture. Okay, I feel like you got a vulture on your hands that. They, 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 they circle it. Got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Something that you've moved away from. You, you moved towards calmer waters. And look, that's a flying squirrel, okay? I feel like you, you maneuvered your way through, all the way through all them swords that they had out for you. But this, I feel like you got a vulture circling, wanting to create some kind of stink. And I feel like they're watching. They're watching. They're, they're circling, waiting. I feel like they're waiting for your downfall with this five of swords here. They, they're, they're, they're watching what you are got going on here. I feel like you got somebody that's really jealous in your energy. 
six of, well, six of cups came out in the reverse, landed right here on top of the queen of pentacles. Okay. You don't remember, okay, you, you don't have fond, okay, you don't think of this person fondly, tell you that. Is this someone you left in the past? With these otters here, this is someone that you used to collaborate with, you used to have good times with, okay, it came out in the reverse. I feel like they're petty, they're envious, they're jealous. They're trying to create some kind of stink for you in the background, and it's because they're watching. Got the Empress right here with the Hermit. Yeah, okay, Divine Feminine Energy right here. Just sticking to themselves. Got the Three of Swords, okay. I feel like this is represented by an elephant here, and I feel like... You got hurt by this person. That's why the Six of Cups is in reverse. Okay, you don't you don't have fond memories of this person. You 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 haven't forgotten. An elephant has a long memory. You haven't forgotten the hurt. Dark clouds here. Dark clouds. You haven't forgotten the pain. And I feel like you have gone inside and doing those deep dives, okay? Finding your pearls, your healing. You found your voice. And that could be why this person is trying to create some kind of ruckus for you. Because you stood up for yourself. I just heard mess with the bull, you get the horn. Got the ace of wands right here with the sun. Yeah. Okay. You've got a hold of your ace of wands right here. That's the light. When things get rough, search for the light. There's a little firefly inside that jar. I feel like this wand here is lighting your way. Lighting your way through your dark. Towards the sun. Uh, you guys could be headed towards a sunny location for some of you. But I feel like you're. this is you... Headed in a whole nother direction towards your sunshine. You're happy. And I also feel like it's getting put right underneath the seven of wands and the five of swords reversed. I feel like this is going to be illuminated to you. It's going to be brought to light. Ooh, it could be you that casts the light on this situation here. Okay. Yeah, world came out in reverse. That means a cycle is not over, okay? Or this person doesn't want this cycle to be over. They don't want you to close out the cycle. They want to keep it, They okay? I got this vulture right here at the center of the spread. I feel like they're trying to throw some kind of monkey wrench in your plans here. Eight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles, okay? You're being guided forward by the Divine. This is you with that sun energy, wanting to move forward, okay? Take action. And then you got this Four of Pentacles, which is like this moon kind of energy right here, wanting to hold back. But if you look at this, okay, that little pentacle right there has been planted like a seed, that ace, and it's sprouted. Four pentacles is about holding back money. Could be trying to save money, and I feel like this is. I feel like this is about saving money. It said practice moderation right here, okay? I feel like the divine is guiding you to save some money. Because a, a, something is going to sprout from that. This money tree right here. 
That's that ace that we always talk about planting. Yeah. This squirrel is hoarding away coins, but there's one sprouting right there. Okay, those were on the bottom of the deck. We've got the two of wands. Okay, there's that stingray. We saw, I think we saw the stingray. I just cut the deck to the wheel of fortune and the star. Look, this is all about, there's a, oh, look at that. There's an oyster with a pearl. Can't even make this up. This is my favorite star card that I have ever seen. And look, there's a lighthouse here too. Boom. Beautiful. Be the light. Follow your destiny. I just cut the deck to the wheel of fortune and the star. Wishes coming true. Fate, luck, and destiny. Ladybugs are about good luck. Grapes, under pressure, they make wine. Well, under pressure, they make juice. Fermented, when you take them, you, when you put them away for a while, that makes wine. Patience. Be patient and persistent. With this two of wands right here, I feel like you've got some, you know, that stingray. They they usually typically stay along the bottom of the ocean. This one has come up to the surface. And I feel like it's because something has caught his attention and needing to make a decision. This is kind of that which way do I go kind of thing. The battle between the sun and the moon, the light and the dark, the masculine and the feminine. The conscious or the subconscious, whatever it is. And I feel like you're being guided by the divine. All in divine timing, okay? This is a divine timing card right here as well. Ooh, I just heard, yes, thank you, spirit. All in divine timing, your wishes and dreams are going to come to fruition because you have taken the time being patient and persistent doing your deep dives unraveling your subconscious okay uncovering your lost wisdoms and your hidden truths finding your voice allowing for changes to happen finding your balance collaborating with your soul family or and your guides Allowing yourself to be guided. Finding your balance in your center. Being bold. Okay, being brave. Investing in yourself, okay, with that ace right there that's sprouting. You know that thing, okay, things are gonna, I feel like you things are gonna take off fast all of a sudden for you. And it's in a positive move, positive direction forward in divine timing you will be shown the way because you've done your deep dives you've brought your oysters up to the surface and pried them open and got your pearls because you listen to your guides you're letting your guide, you're letting your guides do what they do best. Guide you. This is gorgeous. I love this. Okay. I feel like this card right here was the whole reason the divine wanted me to get this deck out. This really is my favorite star card ever. It's gorgeous. Be the light. When the seas get rough, find the light. Mm. 
you're protected and you've got okay ladybugs represent good luck good fortune you could oh you could see a ladybug and i for one am obsessed with lighthouses and i'm pretty sure that the resort that i booked for has a lighthouse near it So I'm definitely going to want to go see that. But we're finding our voice and we're more powerful than we think. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Okay. Hermit energy. That's all soul right there. Being divinely led. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Not even these vultures that are circling around you wanting to create some kind of ruckus and stank. Uh-uh. Okay. You can forgive, but you don't forget. We have to forgive for ourselves so that we can move on so that we can heal people that want to hover around keep checking on you keep peeping you right they come they 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 come back around or they check your social medias or your your platforms or whatever it is you're doing okay they're the ones that need to let go we got the world reverse right here okay a cycle needs to be closed out here. Ooh, some of you could be, some of you could be going to an island. Just got to throw it out there. I feel like, okay, this kind of looks like a closed oyster shell to me. And I'm hearing that this person needs to pry that open they need to locate it first okay they need to listen to their own guides find their own oysters do the work find them locate them pry them open and get their pearls this looks like a closed up shell to me just seeing it in a different perspective like a giraffe okay they got a higher perspective This person is never going to, okay, they, this, they're going to try to keep this cycle open until they do some healing work. Until they themselves decide that they're going to go inside and do those deep dives. Embrace the light. His antenna have a hold of the sun right there, it looks like. These this person is living in the dark and I feel like the dark their their shadow selves and I feel like they need to search for the light because anyone that is trying to create a ruckus or some kind of problems with your manifestations okay they got too much time on their hands maybe if they spent as much time working on themselves as they spend vulturing circle and you maybe they might actually get something done they might actually get somewhere wow okay <clears throat> let's see what are we getting for closing messages spirit Ooh, yeah good idea we're gonna go ahead and get the animal spirit deck out since we got my animal decks out Let's do it. I haven't pulled this deck out in a while. Look at that. Spirit has a plan right at the bottom of the deck. 4444 four, 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 I just saw. 4444. Four. Love is all around with a nightingale. Okay. I do though. Okay. Look at that. Spirit's got a plan and then right underneath it, know your worth. Boom. Skunk and a skunk. 
I feel like this person's creating a stink because you know your worth. And spirit has a plan. You're being divinely led. Make your dreams real. Okay, that's what this whole reading kicked off as. Bringing your daydreams and your, you know, your, your subconscious, your, the things that you dream about into a reality. Life is speeding up. Okay, that's this energy right here. And I brought that up. Okay, I feel like things are going to start picking up. And that's, that's a thing. Okay, um, I re re recall a couple months back saying that 2023 might start off a little rough because of 2000 things of 2022 are kind of bleeding into 2023 holy shit we got a flamingo right here and so i feel like now we're getting far enough into the 2023 where we we're we're clearing all that out and so now things are going to start picking up flamingo embrace the in between between worlds Allowing yourself to be led by the divine. Being bold. Being brave. Look at this. We got a vulture. Oh my God. You definitely got a vulture that is circling around you because you're bold. Because you're brave. They're watching every move you make. And I do. I feel like they're waiting for your downfall. Okay. They want, they want whatever it is that you're working on. They want it, it to end for you. They don't want you to be doing better than them. They, oh, I just heard they don't want you to outshine them. Wow. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Whatever it is that you daydream about, okay, that you think about a lot, it's time to bring it into fruition. Wow. My guides, man, they literally just be on point. Yeah, stag spirit, take the lead, okay? I know these are elk, but you know. Taking the lead. Taking charge. Life is a mystery. Okay. Like that's all I just saw 48 48. I feel like that's all the animal spirit we're gonna need. See if anything shuffles out. Yeah, that's all I got. A lot of messages come when I do my cut and shuffles. There it is. Okay. Grasshopper. I had a feeling it was close by. Take a leap of faith on a brand new adventure. I'm telling you. My guides. They be on point. We had the brown, we had the brown bear spirit. First, take time out. Okay. Slow down. Take time out. Take your time. And then the porcupine came out. Time for a beginner's mind, okay? We have a porcupine right here. Or this is a uh, armadillo. No, that is an anteater. But it looks spiky like a porcupine.
time for a beginner mind, a, a brand new adventure, a fool's journey, starting from the beginning. Yeah, and then there's butterfly right there. Okay, transformative energy right here with this sea glass. Damn. Got parrot. Okay, watch your words. I would be careful about who you talk about your plans with. Okay, I'm. I always pick up gossip with parrots. Parrots to have a tendency to repeat information. There's the dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. And that's right. Okay. Wow. I can't believe how many doubles of the animals we got here. <laughs> My spirit guys just come right on through. Break on through to the other side. We're bold enough. Stay true to you. Let's see. Is there anything else? Feel called to get my soul helper out. Dragon, right at the bottom of the deck. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Okay, again with the pearls. Oh, come here, you. The realm of your truth. We got to be the ones that pull that up. And your dragon will help you do it. Help you sing your song. Find your voice. Protection. I just saw caught up in the drama. Okay, that's this right here. I feel like someone's trying to make a stink, get you caught up in some drama. Yeah, leave your usual social circles behind. Go towards your dreams. A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find you and touch you. Okay, your guides are trying to get in touch with you. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. To conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. Be brave. Be bold. Okay. The time for romance has come. See it as an opportunity for a radiant life. Ooh. There's a peace dove right here. Okay, there. some of you could have new love coming towards you. I feel like this is a time where you're loving on you, though. Loving on yourself. You, you're seeing this new opportunity, this new endeavor as a way, as an opportunity to be your radiant and true self. Finding peace in your own heart. We have tear down the walls around your heart and give, give and receive security and warmth. And we got a little bunny. Okay. We got animals coming out here. We have a chameleon on this one. Uh, drawn to the eyes they have those eyes that can look they're independent of each other I feel like just keep an eye on your surroundings we saw that in the sea if the, in the salt and sea deck pay attention to your surroundings be aware of your surroundings it said 
You've cast a spell with your existence. Magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. When the seas get rough, find the light. It's within you. It's within yourself. You are unique. Be brave, a little crazy, but be yourself. Okay? Again, with this flamingo energy, all this pink, be brave, be bold. Be yourself. Finding your voice. Be your unique, brave, crazy self. And that's where I'm going to leave this. That's how you find the balance between your light and your dark. Don't let your fears take over. Okay? Take the leap. Be mindful of who's around you. Bring your dreams to life. Okay? You got someone around. You got some gossips and vultures around trying to create a stink, create a fuss. Don't let them. You're working on something here. Bring it to fruition. Your guides will see you through. Yeah, protect what you love. With a puppy dog right there. It is your duty and responsibility. Got foxes. There they are again. Leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions, okay? We got collaboration and teamwork right here. People that are going to be, that will be supportive of you on the journey. Okay, and that's where I'm going to leave it. I love you guys. I wish you the very best on this new endeavor that you are embarking upon, okay? Slow down, be patient. Pay attention to the details and see it through. Your guides will help you. If you need to book a personal reading with me, information is down below. Peace, love, and light.